I want to show you a cool hack that I've been doing with clients to help train AI on your voice and writing style. And this is a really cool trick and it's very easy to do. And the result is pretty powerful. So you can quickly get something written up like this that has all the details about how to write in your brand voice and style. So it all starts here with this chat, this conversation that I was having. Basically, I was trying to accomplish a task here inside ChatGPT. But when you start to actually create content and do more things that require a more refined brand voice, you start to notice the things that maybe aren't quite right. So I want to show you what came up in this conversation. And I was using my prompts and having it complete some tasks for me, but pretty quickly we realized that the results weren't quite what we wanted. So what usually happens in these kind of conversations is I'll give it some feedback. All right. So in the process of getting AI to create content for you, you're giving it feedback all the time. It gives you some, uh, some content, maybe it's a social media post or a script for a video, whatever it is. Usually the first draft isn't quite there. In this case, we were trying to come up with some social media content and it was jumping into information without providing much context. So this back and forth iteration of giving it feedback, having it try again. And then the next round, I reviewed that, gave it some more feedback and it tried again. Scrolling down, I reviewed that, gave it some more feedback. Now I'm like, you know, it's just not quite hitting the point. So some of the feedback I gave it is the style of writing. Like it needs to be something they can see, hear, and feel. For example, I gave it an example of something I didn't like and said, that's a bit vague. So I kind of pulled out some of the results that I got, explained why I didn't like that and how to do a better job. I told it, let's try some more visceral vivid language to make it easier and really resonate with the content. So again, this is unique to this client and this content we were trying to create, but you can probably relate to this type of back and forth, anything you're trying to create, whether it's email, social media, sales pages, there's usually this process of refining it down and getting the AI to get it more in the style that you want and on brand in your voice. But what usually happens is you end there and now you have to go through that whole process again in the future. So here's the hack that will save you a lot of time down the road. At the end, once you get the results that you want, just have the AI do something like this. So here's a quick prompt that I like to use at the end of a conversation that was successful, meaning the final result actually turned out the way I wanted. You can now solidify that and lock that in and train the AI in the future on how to do that just by writing a prompt like this. All right, so here's the prompt. Okay, I like this writing style. Study this entire conversation closely and write detailed instructions to help the AI write in this style in the future. Write this as a guide I can give to AI or my team member the next time we need to write content like this for Heather's brand. That prompt right there will have the AI analyze the entire conversation before it and create a written guide that looks kind of like this. Now, one thing I noticed with this first result is it wasn't quite right, so I had it fix that a bit by saying this. I said, okay, do it again, but just teach the underlying concept. Sometimes the AI latches on to examples too closely. So just teach it how to properly think about the content and create it in the most on-brand and effective way possible. And this feedback did a much better job because what I found is sometimes when you write instructions with too many examples in it, it doesn't do a very good job. But if you actually tell the AI to write a prompt or instructions that teach the underlying principles, you'll get a much better guy that you can use over and over and train the AI on in the future. So the result here was really, really good. Heather's Heroes content writing guide. It wrote it down in detailed summary, teaching the AI how to write like this in the future. And that written guide was more for social media content. So it's a great, perfect, now writing more generic one that can be used for any writing task like email, sales pages, video scripts, social content, and more. And it came up with this universal brand writing guide. And what you can basically do is just grab this, copy that, put it into a Word document, download it, and then you can upload that into a project or a bot that you create for your brand. So the next time you log into ChatGPT, it has all these instructions and it should do a better job of getting to that ultimate writing style that you want. And if nothing else, if you start to run into issues again, you can just tell it to reference the instructions more closely and try again. So hopefully you want to keep repeating yourself more than once. So what we're really doing here is just using the conversations that you've had with ChatGPT 
to train it in the future. So one thing I just wrote up really quick is a prompt that will help you do this for any previous conversations that you've done in the past. So it's basically a conversation analysis and brand style guide creation. So what you can do is use this prompt and basically go back into any conversations that you've had in the past, copy the whole thing, paste it in with this prompt, and the AI will analyze that and create those written instructions for you. So if you want to link to that prompt, I'll drop a link below. You can grab that now. And pretty quickly, you'll be able to take any previous conversations that you've had in ChatGPT or other AI tools and generate written guidelines to help you capture the good results that you got and try to replicate that more in the future. So this is a really fast and easy way to train AI on your brand without having to do more work. If you've already had conversations in the past that got you the results that you want, this process can help you solidify that and now get your AI tools to be trained in your brand voice. All right, that link is down below to grab this prompt. I'd love to know what you thought about this little AI hack. Let me know if you try it out and use it for yourself, how it works for you. And if you want more training and resources like this, head over to designhacker.com to check out everything else that I have available. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.